gotta tell you, with how much has been building in the secondary market for the prices of some of these cards, it's actually kind of insane. Make sure you guys smash the link crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. So starting things off here, Bracing Angel Ladder. You know, $20 for this is not, like, the worst thing in the world. But the problem is there's 14 listings of this and they're disappearing. So I think down here with the reprint. I mean, the reprint's holding at 17 listings as well. Um, there is going to come a time where you're going to watch these cards disappear very, very quickly off the secondary market. And you know, I, I would be I would be relatively worried about how that is going to happen and how quickly it's going to happen over time. Because this is one of those situations that you look at out here and the invisible hand be doing invisible hand things and moving pretty quickly out here. We also have Forbid Doll. This is crazy to me. Forbid dolls have hit eighty dollars right now. And I'm sitting here, I'm looking at this and <laughs> This is insane, man. I'm sure there's going to be a reprint coming for this. I can't imagine the Bushiroad has not acknowledged this card's price tag and went, yes, we need to do something about this. The last sale was on 10-12, which was a good couple of days ago, uh, putting it at 65 But I'm not going to spend $80 for dolls. Like, it, it, the fact that they make these good staple cards, and then, you know, of course, I think people are kind of learning, hey, this card's broken in premium, but it also has application in standard. So when these multi-purposing cards do tend to shake up both metas, then that's more that you need to acquire out here for both sides. Also, the Crossing Illumiriers also out here. Um, this card is now $30. Um... On up to 35 actually. What in the world? Like, this is actually kind of crazy just to see how much is sitting here wrapped up in value if you had the sitting around from DV or DSS05. Like, it's nuts. Uh, so we've also got Drajeweled that we need to talk about out here, and also the state of high rarity Nocturcios. Uh, specifically, I mean, all five dragons are always going to be worth looking at, like 100% out here. Uh, the other thing you gotta be aware of is we do have support coming down the pipeline out here in the future for Drajeweled. Like, it's, it's pretty much been shown that we're gonna get this, but a lot more people are looking at this going, well, you know, this card's really, really good because it literally is a glorified ditch, draw one, or it's this huge counter blast, go ahead and recur back some resources so you can kind of do the thing. Uh, regular Nocturcios are coming in at like near $35 a piece. Like, that is not good right now at all. Like, ugh. And then, of course, Drajeweled in general out here. The, uh, the nice one, man, this looks so good. Nice $150. And then, of course, the nice grade four, huh, 12 listings of the FFR, by the way. I see the damage has already been done. Coming in at 45s. Oh, man, this thing looks amazing, too. $250 for the uh, stamped version of this, as it should be. Uh, 55 on up to 130 Ooh, okay. Uh, the mast is 36 bucks. Poor card. Didn't really get much time. Eh, these are 15s. I can't hate this. It does look good. Sleeves are nice $12. The FFR mask, nice $5. Hmm, I wonder which card kind of failed. And then you've got the $5 promos from Deluxe. Of course, also $5 now for the true, uh, the true grade four. So we, we have had some value being had back here between these, like for sure. Uh, you just kinda gotta pick your poison and which version you wanna go with out here to have it be, you know, the, the go-to. So yeah, Drajeweled is doing some wonderful things. Uh, we also have, um, these showed up on, or at least we have the listings now. So the, uh, Rose out here coming in for three bucks a crit. Heels coming in at dollar fifties. The thing I w wanted to see was we finally have these populating. Now, obviously, we don't have these on our side of the game yet. I assume we'll eventually see these. I believe that these were, what, a promo for the Bushi Road Fest. And, I mean, Bushi Road Fest has been doing a lot more stuff. Uh, New Horizons also coming in for the heel trigger. So, yeah, they basically reversed the roles, this now being the crit to match this one as well. Okay. What else we got back here? Oh, energy tokens. I, uh... Just pulled this up just out of curiosity. Still 240, still 100, and then 150s. Man, these are the imaginary gift equivalents this era 75s 
97s, mask at $180, Tizos or 80s, like that's insane. Glad to see boxes though on the pre-order doing their thing. 60s, okay. I mean, how many, just how many energy markers do you need? These are 48. Well, I mean, I guess you need 10 to be, you know, getting the, the best value out here, but still a little bit insane just to see, you know, the initial 23 of these things that are on the market doing their thing. Um, oh yeah, these are 50 cents now. Wow. Okay. Sure. Uh, all of the common ones are so very cheap. That's hilarious to see. Oh, and then we have the stand-up ones. Oh, yeah, these do exist. Okay. A lot of promos out here missing stuff. Uh, $850 for a case of uh, sparkling stars. That's very interesting. Um, and then, of course, the $800 card in the set. <laughs> yeah, Lutetius. Uh These have gone down. Um, Absolute Zeros are now at 220 It's kind of sad, actually. I like that card a lot. Uh, you're looking at, what, like 190 here. Uh, Make-A-Wish Kyokas, 220s. That's interesting. 190 is the way it looks. Uh, Mediel's 140s, 75s for Hasserets. That's so sad. 143s, poor Rose language. All right, 69. All right. It looks like uh, things are not holding up too well back here, some of these cards. A nice $40 here. Okay. Nice $98. Um, interesting. Uh, we've also got Michu at 68. We've got Kyoka at 72. Absolute zero FFRs. If you get the nice ones, hey, $34. Interesting. Um, these are also going up. Who who didn't figure, right? Generic cards out here doing their thing. Interesting. All right. So um, I guess I'm not surprised to see this. And then, of course, all the beautiful FFRs. The, the border looks so good on these cards. And, of course, Silver Rares at 17s. Uh, corals still... 18 bucks for the uh, SR. TC at 14 for the SR. Uh, what do we not have sales on back here? I think it's probably my better question. I assume that it's the Coral. Yeah, the Coral's still $900. Amazing that you list this card at $900 and you still don't have a sale on it. Like, hello? Like, I don't understand people. Uh, and then, of course, 370s. Uh, clears are 400s. Uh, no Hesseret sales. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, Arcas are at 39s. That's interesting. So yeah, we, we still have cards that do not have sales on them back here, and people still want to force the price up so high. Very interesting. And then promos. Hey, look, still 250s. Oh, it, it's gone. Uh-oh. Uh, Tamaris are 300s. Wow. $370 on Michu's. Okay. Uh, Uraras are ooh, kind of up there. All right, three hundreds. Wow, sixties on the crits. These are a hundred plus now. The the state of the promo market. I'm telling you, man. Like these character triggers are insane. Eighty two for the draws. Fronts are still eighties. Not all that surprised. Zakuzas are forty five. This kind of went up. Fronts nineties. Sure. More fronts at sixties. It's kind of disappearing. These are still forties. Kind of surprised about that, but. Uh, more doji starter kind of doing the thing out here i uh i don't see uh, still 30s on the little beast guy 55s big old yikeroos there i also love the uh Nikolai out here also kind of coming along doing its thing as it should be ot's at 27 dollars stills at 35s okay not too terrible these elementaries are still 35s. That's insane. Heading out to 43. <laughs> I have four of those. Like, 23s still on the doggos. Bow mains is 17. The fact that doggos are 25 a pop is, is so insane to be seeing right now. Hell base still got some value as well. Um, I, I don't know what to say, man. Like, the promo sector... I feel like it gets worse every time I look back here. There's just so much stuff. Also, the fact that these Ukias are now $55 still, I think we saw those last week. It, it's it's insane. So, yeah, a lot of stuff happening right now in the secondary market. I'm very curious to see how things are going to go for the long haul out here. But please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I will see your beautiful faces back here. Learn day, guys. Peace. 
Thanks for watching today's video. Check out tradingcardmint.com down below in the description. Enter mcool 40 on checkout. Save a little bit of money on your purchase. Check out mcoolgames.com if you're interested in getting some cool play mats and single trading cards as well. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss one of our videos. Thanks for watching.